Hey y'all, it's your girl Elijah. Welcome back to my channel. In this week's vlog, I'm going to take y'all with me around as I get some things done, run errands, and just a week in a successful sugar baby's life. I have filmed from like Monday up until Friday. Today is Saturday. And so if you want to see what's going on in my life, keep on watching. Right now it is Saturday. Everybody is in the middle of the whole George Floyd protest. I got my 38 inches installed yesterday. Check it out. Can you even see all of it? Sugar baby hair. Sugar baby hair. I'm about to finish getting dressed. I'm only actually laying my frontal because my bundle stayed intact last night. Then I have to come back home and get these orders ready. I have five orders. Five Punani boxes that I have to get out this week. Tons of guides. Also working on getting my webinar out. I haven't done my webinar yet, mainly because every time I turn around, something is going on with society to where I can't really do what I want to do or it would be insensitive. Like right now is the worst time to do a webinar, mainly because of everything that is going on. And I feel like it would be very insensitive for me to try to do that right now. It's gonna be very intimate. It's only 10 people a webinar. I have about like 200 students right now. So I have a group of 20 people and it's gonna be very intimate. I'm gonna be getting down, you know, I'm gonna be getting real down and dirty with y'all and going over everything, talking to y'all about my life. And it's gonna be really dope. And the thing about it is 
we it's an intimate setting so y'all get to ask me questions get really intimate with me and it's gonna be really dope i'm really excited for the webinar gotta love this hair this hair works so good like what girl don't play with me But right now I'm headed to go get my dog some food. They ran out of food. So I'm going to Pet Supplies Plus. I love Pet Supplies Plus. They have all like the, the best brands and treats that you can get for your dogs. See my Quintera Negra tequila. I love me some good tequila. I love to day drink. It helps me, it helps me function, you know. Nobody wants to be uptight all day, so I like to loosen up and sip a little bit. Get into this lace, though. Where's the lace at? Girl, I don't know. I, at this point, I'm thinking this hair is coming out of my head. You better shop with me. My wigs are going to sell out once they drop. I can guarantee it. All of my businesses will be under one umbrella. I'm also dropping my luxury manifestation box. My manifestation box is basic, it speaks for itself. It's a box where you can manifest your luxury, a luxury manifestation. And in the box will come my manifestation guide. You'll get a crystal, either a rabbit foot or a feather. I'm not really sure, I haven't decided yet. Then you will get sage, you'll get a rose sage and a regular sage. It's gonna be a lot of cute spiritual stuff within the box as well as my guide. I'm almost done writing my book and my guide. It's just taking a little bit of time, of course, because I have to write it. I have to go get it edited and proofread and find a publisher and then get it on and popping. That is gonna be done very soon. Like I honestly, I can't wait to drop my book and my guide it's gonna be so dope i'm just making time for everything because if you nothing will get done if you don't make time for it a lot of people say you know i don't have time i don't have time but it's only because they haven't made time i make time for all of my businesses i commit at least one to two hours to each one of them a day which is a good amount i'm i'm talented so i don't really have to spend all day brainstorming on my ideas they kind of just come I bring them to life I love watching my ideas come to life I love showing my sugar daddies what I have going on they absolutely love it they love to see me be successful and I'm very very thankful at this point in my life that I'm not in the game anymore I have not seen another sugar daddy since that day that man blessed me that is the difference between an escort a prostitute and a sugar baby an escort slash prostitute would have got that $41,000 and either one would have gave it to their pimp or their daddy or just blew it on some crazy stuff. An escort slash prostitute would have wasted that money. And a sugar baby is an asset. A sugar baby is somebody that knows they can make something out of themselves. I would definitely be a super hoe if I got $41,000 off of one lick and could not find any other way to get money. You, that is somebody that is just lost. I'm 25 years old, but I'm saying there comes a point in time where everyone needs to get their shit together. And I hope my life can sh shine light and help you girls understand that you can get your shit together and you don't have to be in the game for the rest of your life. I just put up to pet supplies. I'm about to go in here and grab my dog some food. Head back to the crib. hard to get over my ears oh my goodness <laughs> okay oh my goodness I cannot get this over my ear okay all right let's go I got them the Akana the Akana brand it's A-C-A-N-A -A. it's like $80 a bag and I got them that one because I'm, and it's, I got that one specifically because it's all life stages. So it's not like it's just for my big dog or it's just for my little dog. 
they all can eat it. And also it's very good, it's very good food, the ingredients. The first ingredient on it is, I think it was, it's a fish. It's some kind of a healthy fish. So that's really good. All the ingredients on that dog food are amazing. It's a little bit pricey, but it's really worth it. Like if you if you really love your animals, like I love my animals, it's not that big of a deal to spend that much money on them. Like I just spent $111. I got them really good food and a few treats and snacks to, to indulge in when they're not doing anything so they can stay out of my face, but. <laughs> I spray this on all of my products from my masks to my wigs, punani boxes, whatever you order from me, I spray the outside of it with this. That way I keep y'all protected when y'all receive it and I'm protected as well. All right, y'all, so I'm in my office right now about to get some punani boxes ready. This is three of them that I already have done. I have five orders, so I have to get, well, I actually have four of them done, one sitting over there, so I have to finish one more, and then I'm gonna ship them off tomorrow in the morning. So let me finish this Poonani, this Poonani machine, girl. <laughs> this with the gold and the little gold accessories on the two the punani machines now only come in pink and blue i chose those colors because your punani should either taste or smell like water or it should be pink <laughs> oh how good would it be if you'd come back to me don't want nobody else had a fan bills by myself yeah i want to get this money with you Put no one above ya Yeah, I really love ya And I'm sorry that I hurt ya Oh No, I ain't cheap He's mad I'm in these streets And I ain't up in his sheets Yeah, ay, hey, 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 yeah, hey. Alright ladies, so it is now about 10 p.m. We are on a lockdown downtown Dallas. We're on a curfew from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. So it's very quiet right now. Everybody's at home. I'm getting ladies finished signed up for my webinar and my guide. And I'm sending out emails right now. I keep a notebook that is full of all of my students right now. I have a webinar that is going to be going on here soon, sometime this month. What, every time I'm about to do my webinar, something crazy happens in the world. Currently everything is you know going everything is berserk you know it's a protest with george george floyd going on right now there's a lot of commotion in the world i don't want to be insensitive to what is going on so i decided to postpone my webinar i do write down everyone's name and their email that way i can contact them a couple days before the webinar starts so far i have 149 students i am right now plugging in a few other ladies names and emails hoping to hit 200 students very soon. I'm gonna finish sending out these emails after I'm done with this. I'm gonna go ahead and start my champagne wasted labels. I label my own products. Everything that you get, I have done it myself. I have my own machine that I use to get everything done. I will do a separate vlog on that some other time. Let's go ahead and get this finished. I wanna know what you wanna do to me If you must know I like it real deep This pussy might come with a fee But if you lick it real slow you might get Girl, I just sent her a little message in parentheses saying practice some patience because sometimes I get girls who purchase guides from me, literally within two hours, three hours, or a couple hours, I will get an email from that girl stating that she wants a refund because she has not received her guide yet. It's like, first of all, I never gave you a time limit of when you should be receiving anything. I work, I operate like any other business. I will respond the following business day if it's after hours. And if it's during hours, 
give it some time, you feel me? I'm not just gonna stop and drop what I'm doing because you contacted me. I let them ac accumulate to a certain number and then I sit down and get them all out. If you don't have any patience, you will never get anywhere. Patience is a virtue. Patience is one of the biggest rewards. <laughs> like patience, once you learn patience, that is a huge reward to you. You honestly get so much further. Things don't agitate you as much. You understand things more when you learn patience. So definitely hold your horses and give it time. Even when getting this money, you have to have patience. You cannot fold. The moment you fold, somebody else is taking your spot. You need to learn patience for real. But let me finish this because I'm almost done. While I'm in my office, I love to vibe, which is why I have my lights on and it's dim. It's real neutral in here. And I'm just going to vibe to some music, finish labeling my waist trainer. In my last video, if you didn't see my last video, this is one of the waist trainers that you saw me trying on, which is my pink one. I have them in small, medium, and large. I'm going to go ahead and label this waist trainer with my champagne wasted stencil. I already had my vinyl cut out. I pre-did everything a couple nights ago because I really didn't feel like pressing it. I just wanted to have it done. That way when I did get around to it, I could just put it on there. So I already have my, if you can see, it says champagne wasted. I already have the stencils cut out. I have about seven of them. They're all laid out right here. And I'm gonna just go ahead and place it on and get it on there, girl. How you want it, you can get it in the back of a red. He, he slapped me on my ass and called me Superwoman. I, I, I give him what he needs, so I got him on his knees and he ripped my G string. He said, Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh. Someone just ordered a waist trainer for me and I sprayed the inside of them with this and get it ready to pack up my packaging is always very cute my packaging speaks for itself i don't believe in the boring boxes or the boring bags and i definitely don't believe in throwing a whole bunch of glitter and confetti in your packages i feel like if you get good and pretty packaging you don't have to do all that extra so my champagne wasted box speaks for itself champagne wasted and then inside of it you get your waist trainer the waist trainer comes nicely wrapped in this beautiful rose black and gold wrap and it's nicely put in there we're not going to do confetti and all that extra it's just like that if y'all would like a packaging video, definitely let me know down below in the comments. Head Sugar Baby checking in. So, I just woke up. I am getting ready to get my day started. I made me a nice bagel with eggs, turkey bacon, etc. Excuse that. I am doing laundry right now. I need to get my laundry folded. I also have to get some punani boxes shipped out today. I also just got some boxes, some shipping boxes in the mail, so I'm going to make sure that they are the right size, etc. The cool thing about getting free shipping boxes is if they are the wrong size, I can more than likely always find something else to put in them, and then I can also order some new boxes. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get that started. I can't stand it. Like, I just woke up and brushed it out. No mats, no, no tangles. What? Okay, so I got some shipping boxes in the mail. Of course, this is what my shipping boxes look like. I'm sizing them. I'm pretty sure I use these boxes to ship my wigs off in. And of course, some of y'all know now that I have the bags. I like my bags, they're so cute. I'm also going to change my champagne wasted boxes 
to the bags. I already ordered the black bag. They're black snake skin. It's really sexy. And those are gonna, it's gonna be just like champagne laces with the gold and black. It's just gonna be bags with the roses on them like you've seen with my She Ready bags. If you haven't seen my She Ready Hair bags, I'm gonna insert a clip of that right here. So yeah, let's see if these fit. I'm sure they do. so cute and different everybody has boxes and if you get in on the bag it's like reptile so these are the original champagne wasted boxes they're just black boxes my label on the front champagne wasted these little sticky notes on them because my waste containers are already packaged up so I know that this one is a small, small black sweat belt. This one is a large black sweat belt. This one's sugar baby hair. Your wigs come in this cute cheetah bag. And the reason why I did these bags is because it was long and it's the right size. A wig here. I know you're like, what? A wig can fit in there? Yes, bro. A wig can fit in here. You see all this hair? Check it out. When you wrap it, it turns into a whole different size. You could put, I could put this wig in there. It just be, I just have to wrap it up. The way that I wrap it is like this. That way, when you get the hair, it'll be nice and it'll probably be a little have a little wave to it from being wrapped up. But the hair will be nice and silky. And the fact that this bag is silky will help the hair stay nice and compressed. I'm getting my punani boxes packed up. I have two of them right here that are ready to go out. I put these foam on the side. That way the packages will not be sliding all over the page. page. <laughs> it's in there. And so I just, before I put the box in there, I double check the box to make sure that everything came in here. So here's one of them that I'm about to ship off. It has my picture, my thank you card. Thank you for shopping with me. How Punani Box works. Of course, all of your merchandise in there. And I just check. I make sure there's six items. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's supposed to be six items in this bag. This one is ready to go, so I'm gonna put it in the box. And then I'm going to, I recycle styrofoam. So most of the stuff that my furniture pieces came in, the boxes had foam with them. I just kept them, recycled them, and put them to the side. That way I can use them later on. Texas shirt. Before I go, I'm going to throw some clothes in the washing machine and clean off my counters and throw these dishes in the dishwasher because baby cleanliness, cleanliness hmm, is next to godliness. Oh crew. Oh crew. Goodbye. <laughs>
They say that like a honey. Maybe I love you money. I love you. So why you run. Give them my ear while I'm wasting. They put it like cancer. Know how life off and have a pill. Suck the pussy now she stay on my alley. Bring me inside the weeds while the rich and nail heels. Very retarded, can't be least really pay tuition. The reason why your dishes aren't getting cleaned is because you're putting this in your dishwasher. Do not put this in your dishwasher. It does not clean your dishes. Cascade. This is all you need. You can get this big old bucket. It has a hundred. It has 78 of them in there. You can get this big old bucket off Amazon for like 20 bucks. Now let me get these clothes in the washer. I love my new hamper. It makes it so easy for me. I have one that has three of these on there and it slides back and forth or whatever. But I don't like to bring it all the way out here because I can just take this out of the hamper. It has three of them, like I said. It's like one, two, three. I have my whites in one side, my panties, socks, and bras in the middle, and then clothes on the other side. So right now I'm about to wash my panties, bras, like little hand towels and things like that. I'm gonna just throw them in here. In the key, I think it's right, trying to pay the bitch. She said, slide, little pussy, but for cool, baby. Okay. There's something about you, made me really want to give it to you. It couldn't be the car, cause I was trapping in the key. Told her I'm tight, but for the show backstage, my face did. Yeah, I, but I'm insecure too, cause you both. Finish with all that laundry and stuff like that. I'm gonna go to the UPS store and drop off the rest of these orders. So, this is how I take my orders out to the car. I got them all on my scooter. Let's go. <laughs> so I just got another order for Punani box in. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over here to my inventory closet, get the stuff that I need for it. I already have the majority of it ready, as you can see right here. I use all of the space that I have very strategically. So for instance, my closet is my inventory closet. I use the restroom for a place to make my facial cleansers, my toners, my astringents, and things like that. Instead of getting my kitchen all dirty, I do all of that in this restroom here because I have lots of counter space and it has a sink and all of that. But right here is where I get my Punani boxes ready. I'm sold out right now, I only have six boxes left. I just shipped off two of them. These four, I have to wait for my facial cleanser bottles to get in. But as you can see, all the boxes, the packaging is already ready. I have the oils, the toners, the astringents, and the clay masks all ready to be packaged up. I'm just waiting for the facial cleanser bottles to get here. Once they get here, I also already have my facial cleanser ready and made. So when it gets here, I'm gonna get a brand new syringe get it on out, put the cleansers all together and put them in the boxes and ship them off. So I just got another one. I already got the products ready. So now all I need to do is get a goodie bag ready. Punani boxes come with a cute goodie bag. In the goodie bag comes six items. So six items. One, you get a highlighter, a lip gloss. The lip gloss ranges from argan oil, rose oil, coconut butter, and coconut oil. You get a facial cleansing brush. I absolutely love my facial cleansing brushes because if you can see here, it, the back you scrub with it and then the front you wet it and wash your face off. So I love that because instead of just throwing water all over your face, you have a brush and this brush works really good and the scrub works really good on the back. You get a wooden stick that is for applying your clay mask. You also get a designer headband. It could be Chanel, it could be Gucci, it could be Versace. There's all different headbands. That one's that one. I already showed you the Chanel one. I have black Gucci ones. I have red Gucci one. But don't reach Hey y'all, head sugar baby checking in. So guess what? My lip gloss tubes just came in the mail and your girl is excited because it's just cool watching everything that I want 
come to life. You know, I got my lip gloss tubes coming in. I got, I'm about to make my lip gloss and it's just really cool. So here's my lip gloss tubes. Let me show y'all. The flavors for my lip gloss just came in. Spoiled is gonna be passion fruit flavored. Sugar Baby is gonna be strawberry shortcake flavored. My clear lip gloss is gonna be white cake batter flavored. Queen is gonna be natural brownie flavored. And Champagne Wasted is gonna be peach flavored. Bitch!